Oh, hey, what's up, guys? It's Brian House here for Housework. And as you can see, we've made tremendous progress on the 2x72 prototype build we've been working on for the last month or so. Got a couple of projects for today. One, the primary one for today is going to be to get this thing properly wired up. I built a temporary whip for the wiring that goes from the VFD to the motor, and that's because you can't really just walk into a Home Depot or Lowe's and find the right wiring you need. From the wall outlet to the VFD itself, you need 210 with ground, which you can find. That's a flexible wire that uh, 220 runs on. However, from the VFD to the motor, you need 310 with ground. Now, I was able to go to a smaller hardware store and find 312 with ground, which I felt was adequate and will do the job. So we're going to go ahead and wire up this properly and make it a permanent wiring solution for it right now. As you know, I have been really working hard to get this prototype done. I've been spending a lot of time in the refinement of the plans. You wouldn't believe how extremely time consuming creating plans is, but it really is. 
Um, the, the benefit of that, of me doing the process in SketchUp and filming it is I can go back and reference all the film and everything else that I've done on this, plus open up my SketchUp file and reference that because I made this pretty much to spec. Also, we're not done with this thing. I'm still using my old platen, which I plan on replacing or at least building another one. Uh, as you know, I bought this one from eBay. This was made by Origin Blade Makers. It's a fantastic platen. However, uh, it's eight inches from top to bottom, and I was really hoping to squeeze another inch and a half. So I have spent some time in SketchUp, and I mocked up a new, fresh platen, which is, gives us nine and a half inches, an extra inch and a half on that platen, which I do think makes a difference. Uh, because I plan on doing some bigger projects and I really want to be able to turn this thing horizontally and have that nice wide platen to be able to work on. Also, I've got to finish the welds. I want to run some uh, little scoops for these wires for my LED lights, possibly wire them into the VFD. I'm not really sure if I can actually do that, but it'd be super nice to not have to plug these into a wall. Pretty sure I can get 110 out of this thing somewhere. I just got to grab a multimeter and check all that. So when I turn the grinder on, then the lights come on and I still have the switches. I can actually do that. If you don't know about these lights, they're super cheap. They were $10, I think, on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description so you can find those. Uh, these are game changer. If, you, if you're making knives or doing any sort of small work on a 2x72 grinder, having the right amount of light on your work actually is really super important and being able to adjust it whichever way you're moving things around these goosenecks are actually pretty good for the price i'm also currently working on a design for an adjustable work rest right now i'm using my old work rest and it works fine but i do want to build an articulating work rest and then also one that will move with the platen itself when you turn it horizontally. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that yet or if, even if that's possible or makes sense. The good news is is the receiver tubes are square so when you turn this thing you should just be able to slide it in. As you know I am building a business around this 2x72 grinder and plan on sharing that progress of the business with you and that's part of my development of my YouTube channel here. When I got into the hobby of knife making, I really had no idea where that would take me. And as you can see, it took me down the path of designing and manufacturing industrial tools. Sometimes you just have to go with the flow and hope for the best. I find this process so satisfying. The, from everything, from the design all the way down to figuring out how to manufacture it, weld it, put it all together, and ultimately painting it, packing it, and shipping it out. So my goal is to have some grinders completely built, ready for sale. You can buy them, I'll ship them to you, uh, but also have the plans available so you can purchase those online and it'll be a digital download. It'll deliver right into your inbox. And then I also want the option for you guys to be able to buy any of the pieces and parts that actually make up this grinder. You'll be able to buy the hinges, the motor mount plate, everything, all the steel, all the way down to the hardware packs. We're gonna assemble those hardware packs. So if you wanna build your own grinder, but you have your receiver tube and you need the hinges, you can do that. Everything will be a la carte. Or of course, we'll, we'll make little group packages where you can buy just certain pieces of it uh, you know, at a time. So that's kind of the goal for this project. And this channel will sort of focus around what it's like to set up a business like this and build grinders like this and do other projects. The grinder is just kind of the gateway drug, I think, for me to get into tooling, manufacturing, shipping, selling online, building a community of like-minded people who are crowdsourcing this thing. Again, I don't know if there's any money in this. I mean, in my head, I think there might be, but it's not so much about the money. It's really about building a business, a sustainable business, and bringing back manufacturing to the United States. We have gotten so far away from that. I'm a, I was born in 1977, so I witnessed manufacturing, the rise of it, or the tail end of the rise, I should say, the decline, and now I'm watching our country basically have a resurgence of people who want to build things and manufacture things again. I am super proud of the fact that I am a part of that community 
and we're utilizing the internet and all of the new tools and technology that we have available to us to create something amazing for this country again. So if you see me touting the fact that we are going to try and use as many American made products and, and utilize as many American made things here in our shop, like good old hardcore American steel, you know I'm gonna use it, if it makes sense. Again, I'm in that hybrid stage where I know some people are like, it's gotta be American, it's gotta be this. I don't think of it like that. I think of it more in terms of what can we utilize that is American, that makes sense for us in a, from a capitalist perspective, and then slowly start manufacturing stuff that we cannot get affordably here in the States, like these 2x72 grinders. Something like this can change somebody's workshop. I fully believe in this as being one of the most important tools you can have in your home workshop. And the fact that we can build one and put it together and make it work and right here in our little workshops it makes it even better. The fact that you'll be able to go on my website and purchase all the pieces, parts and hardware, motors, whatever you want and assemble it and you'll get a nice little plan to go with it so that you can put it all together. You can make it a project, you can do it with your, your kids, they can help you along the way. You can learn something, you can watch the channel and we can work on things together. If you've got a question, you reach out to me and I help you through the process. So that's the direction I'm taking it. Also, one more thing I'd like to mention, you know how much I love coffee. I did integrate a new monetization feature into the channel. If you're not comfortable using Patreon, which is a monthly subscription, you can donate some money to my channel as a one-off. It basically connects with your PayPal account and just, you know, you can basically buy me a coffee. So if you like my work and you don't want to commit to the monthly fee, I totally understand that. Check out Buy Me A Coffee. The link is down in the description. There's a free way to support my channel also. There are links down in the description that will take you to my Amazon store and I've got everything in my workshop and studio categorized down from my personal safety equipment to the apron I'm wearing. Got this for Christmas, thanks, Sarah, my wife. And tools, uh, supplies, parts, pieces that I use to build this grinder, all of that is available on my Amazon store. It doesn't cost you anything and I get a small commission back from Amazon. That would be greatly appreciated. If you wanna take your support to the next level, I do have a Patreon page now where you can subscribe and donate to my channel every month for as little as $1 a month. You can support everything I'm doing right here in my workshop. It would be truly, truly amazing if I was able to do this and build it up with you guys as my supporters. Thank you so much. If you got something out of today's video, leave me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you can follow along with all the projects that I've got going on right here in the workshop. Thanks guys, I really do appreciate it. This has been Brian House for Housework. <laughs>